believe what Isabelle said in French. As you all know, we're here as a neighborhood of, of Park Extension, uh, one of the poorest neighborhoods in Canada, but richest in solidarity. We know each other, we love each other, and we're ready to work together. And this is the time when we're coming together as a neighborhood and saying, enough. As Isabelle said, Hydro-Quebec has a, a, a really a beautiful history, um, starting in the, in the 60s and 70s with the nationalization of the, the terrible electric companies that were taking too much money from poor people like us. The government said, you've had enough money, we're going to take it now, we're going to invest public money into making new dams, into providing cheap electricity, which is a human right for poor people of Quebec, to help lift them out of poverty. We're going to take the electricity and go to the rural areas, the farms that didn't have electricity because it cost too much. We're going to do that for the good, the common good of Quebecers. There's a social contract. That social contract has been broken. Hydro-Quebec has raised high, the, the rates every year for the past five years, since 2013, as we say, it's gone up 11%. I don't know anything else has gone up 11. My salary has not gone up 11 percent. Has your salary? No. As uh, no, no. Who's getting more money? Are you making 11 percent more? No. Everything's going down. The only thing going up are the STM, the bus pass, the food is going up, the the daycares are going up, Hydro Quebec is going up, the rent is going up. Everything else is coming down. So we're here to say that this is not fair. That as a, a project, a societal project, Hydro Quebec should be helping to empower us and, and take us out of poverty instead of enforcing us deeper into poverty as a, as a poor neighborhood. And really we stand here in solidarity with all the poor neighborhoods and all the families who are going to get cut as of today. As we know, today is an important symbolic date. Today, according to Hydro Quebec, is the end of winter. Maybe they're right, it's pretty warm today. But it means that as of today, they can unplug all the families, the thousands of families who have been behind on their hydro bill. And as we know in Park X, with our poor quality housing, there are people paying two, three hundred dollars a month to heat their little apartments, or else their families will, will die. And there's, there's no choice. But as of today, they can be unplugged. Hydro Quebec will unplug them. You have no power, no fridge, no stove, uh, no electricity. Uh, there's no way to live. Um, and so we're here to denounce not only the hikes, but also the unplugging of, uh, of poor families in, in Park X and across Quebec. So we stand with everybody who's upset. Uh, we thank the SF Dinar for crunching, uh, with the Union Consumateur for crunching the numbers. We know how much the rate is. They have also done the numbers and they know what the rate should be based on how much it actually cost to produce electricity last year. Not only should we not have an increase of 0.7% this year, they calculate we should have a decrease of 1.6%. And the commercial enterprises that have a different rate, which have an increase, you will not be surprised, of 0% this year. Their electricity costs more to produce. They should be up by 6% this year. So instead, we're taking from the poor residential consumers, and we're, we're giving a, a free ride to the commercial users, who actually use way more electricity. So there are many problems with the way Hydro-Quebec is managed. It has lost touch with the people, and we're going to bring that message to the minister responsible, uh, Pierre Arcand. So if everybody is together, yeah, let's go see Pierre Arcand. So this is going to be a little tricky, but the way we're going to do this, we're going to take the metro. We're lucky that Pierre Arcand is right next door. He's our neighbor. He's the minister uh, responsible for hydro, uh, for natural resources, and he is the deputy for Ville Royal, for TMR. So we're going to go underground to get under the fence. We're going to take the metro. We're going to take the metro all the way to Namur, which will involve one change at Snowden. We're going to go together, of course, and we're going to do it carefully and make sure nobody gets behind. And then once we're at Namur, we're going to walk a couple blocks to his office and uh, we're going to deliver our message in front of his office. Alors, vous invite maintenant? Yeah! So,